Hello, my name is Dr. Tony Fay, and it is my great pleasure to present our work on gene variant effects across sodium channelopathies, predict function, and guide precision therapy on behalf of all study collaborators. The voltage gated sodium channel family comprises nine members of functionally expressed channels that are distributed throughout the neurosystem, skeletal, and cardiac muscle. Depending on their location in different tissue types, variants can be associated with a broad range of diseases. All sodium channel genes share common evolutionary origins and a conserved basic structure. This can be seen on the right with 3D illustrations of the channel's alpha subunit, composed of approximately 2,000 amino acids. The 2D illustration on the left highlights key regions in the channel structure. Gain of function variants increase channel activity, whereas loss of function variants result in an inactive or less active channel. This is important as these biophysical effects can drastically alter channel activity and therefore determine the clinical phenotype. For example, Dravet syndrome in SAM1A is caused by loss of function. Impaired inhibitory interneurons cause excessive excitation and epilepsy. However, early epileptic encephalopathy in SAM2 and ATA is caused by gain of function in excited neurons causing too much excitation. Loss of function in SAM1A is treated with GABAergic drugs, whereas gain of function in SAM2 and ATA is treated with sodium channel blockers. Therefore, knowledge of the underlying variant effects can inform treatment choice. While knowledge of the underlying variant effects can inform treatments, the electrophysiological analysis used to obtain this data requires a laborious process, taking potentially months to complete. And so we sought to investigate how the similarities of molecular consequences across different sodium channelopathies could facilitate variant prediction and inform treatment choice. To identify sodium channel variants, we performed a systematic PubMed search and extracted functional data from missense variants characterized by whole cell patch clump analysis. Variants were then categorized into gain, loss, or mixed function. We identified 951 records through our search, and after full text analysis, we assessed 369 variants as pathogenic and 68 as benign. We found that pathogenic variants clustered at the center of the protein, corresponding to regions of functional significance, including the pore and an inactivation gate. In contrast, benign variants predominantly occurred in cytoplasmic regions, corresponding to the outer regions of the channel structure. We also found a different distribution of variants causing gain of function versus loss of function effects. For example, gain of function variants predominantly occurred at inactivation sites. In contrast, loss of function variants were mainly found in poor loop regions. We then mapped all our pathogenic variants onto the 2D illustration shown earlier. Circles represent variant pairs. These are variants that have occurred at analogous positions across two or more sodium channel genes. Of the 38 pairs identified, we found that 35 displayed very similar functional effects. This table displays a few of our variant pairs. You can see that while the sequence numbers for variants in each pair differ slightly, their respective locations on the channel protein are identical, and that regardless of phenotype, channel location, or channel subtype, the variant's biophysical effects are the same. So how does our work influence precision medicine? We show that variants across sodium channel paradoxes can serve as a valuable surrogate for corresponding variants. This is important as it can guide treatment choice. We also create a freely accessible sodium channel functional library featuring over 400 electrophysiologically characterized variants that allows identification of sodium channel paradoxes across all voltage gated sodium channels. In conclusion, we show that the biophysical characterization of a specific sodium channel variant can serve as a valuable surrogate for corresponding variants at analogous positions in different sodium channel genes. We outline shared patterns of functional effects across the sodium channel gene paradox, revealing a framework that aids variant interpretation and informs precision therapy. I would like to thank all collaborators and funders who supported this work.